Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to use motion blur to create this speed effect. Keep in mind, I post two tutorials like this per week, so please consider subscribing to this channel. Alright, let's get started. I already drag and drop my picture here and now I'm going to duplicate this layer with the photo. Here's the copy at the top. I will reduce opacity slightly, just 10% down. Alright, using move tool I will drag one side of the picture out like this. So the player is moving to the left, it's why I'm dragging on the right side. To make him wider, like this. Maybe a little bit more and move him just behind the original position. We can see it through this layer. Alright, around this area will do. Now we are ready to apply motion blur. It's here in this little menu at the bottom, motion blur. In the pop-up window we can set direction and speed, let's say, how long the blur will be. The slider will end with 100, but we can type any value from the keyboard. So it will kind of depends on the size of your picture, so we can experiment a little bit here. Be sure you align the direction with the movement in the picture. In my case, it will be like this. All right. So now everything is blur on this top layer. I need to mask left part of this picture, of this blur layer, so I can see the original layer below. So we're adding mask now. And be careful now, because one thing is the blur we had before, and the second thing is the mask. Don't mix them here. We will need a simple soft brush, basic soft brush. So brush tool, set up head to basic brush. We can modify the size of it. It should be soft one. And we need black color. I think the color go back to white so let's check the color once more yes so flip to black color black color is masking the top layer so we can uncover the layer below all right i will undo this and switch off wet edges and try again now the left side of the picture we want to mask out this left side of this picture so we can see the original photo below. Now with the smaller brush you can use square brackets on your keyboard to reduce the size of the brush. With the smaller brush we will be able to make this player sharp on his left side here. So it will be sharp on one side and blur on other side. This will kind of illustrate the speed of the player. We are not aiming here to like photorealistic picture. This is more like illustration, giving him almost like superhuman speed. All right, so now I'm masking out, masking out the blur. I got too much blur. It's why I'm using the mask to hide it, using this black brush on the mask layer. A little bit here and now the bottom part <laughs> we got this leg over here that is very blur right now so we need to modify that Not too much, maybe a little bit smaller brush here. We still need this nice blur here. All right, this will do, I think. 
This way we can see the original player, but also our blur on the right side. Alright, so here's our blue layer. Very nice effect. There's one more thing we can do here. This kind of picture is usually oversaturated. So let's add saturation using alignment panel. We can move it to the right, add very saturated colors, modify the colors a little bit. All right, much better. So it's almost like comic, it's illustration-like. So we got this super speed and very saturated colors. All right, I will group those two layers together so, so we can see kind of before and after. All right, so this is the whole effect, original photo, blur layer and saturation. Now we're going to switch it off. This was the, our picture. And here's the version with the motion blur. Nice little project to practice masking and blurring images. All right, guys, thank you for today. For more Affinity tutorials, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one.